There with head coach Stu Gore, the Northwestern soccer team at home Sunday against Texas A&M Commerce coming off a great weekend. And coach, everyone wants to be playing well going into tournament play. Not quite there, but you got to be happy with how the second half started. Uh, second half of the conference play started. Oh, definitely. You know, I think you know. Um, you know, sometimes you got to work through those 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 scenarios, and and uh, you know you learn a lot from them, and you come out the other side hopefully. And, and it seems like we have. So um, I'm I'm proud of what we've what we achieved. Well, one thing you achieve is a lot of corner kicks, leading the nation there. We talked about it last week. Uh, what are the with the importance of of corner kicks in terms of being able to set people up? Um, yeah, like obviously, it's a chance. It's a chance to deliver the ball into the into the penalty area. So, you know, um, it, it's kind of it puts the other team on the heels, and, and, and anything can happen in those scenarios. Um, you know, hopefully the NCAA comes up with a national championship for them because uh, we could maybe grab that. So uh, I'd be I'd be happy with that. Put a little plaque in, little <laughs> plaque in the trophy case. Uh, you know, we, we've talked about this team has had so many chances early in the year. Sometimes goals don't go. Sometimes you get unlucky. Uh, what unlucky this week? You kind of filled up the back of the net. Just kind of a matter of time when you keep pressuring and keep getting those chances before they the, the dam breaks. You hope. Um, sometimes the dam doesn't break. Um, you know, some days you know you, you have games where you feel like the other team could walk off the field and you still wouldn't score. Um, you know, and, and obviously last weekend we, we had a good weekend, and, and this this week we just got to you know sort of you know concentrate on the same things, and, and um, you know sometimes it's a little bit of luck goes your way, and that that, that helps. You talked about possibly playing. Uh, Olivia and Gracie up top together. Uh, obviously, Olivia's done what she's done. Gracie, Southland Conference Offensive Player of the Week. Uh, how would you say the chemistry's worked out? I mean, obviously, the results look pretty good. Oh, yeah. I think those two had great chemistry off the field the minute, you know, the minute we started preseason. So, you know, I think um, Liv gets, you know, the attention that she gets because of, because of last year and, and the start of this year. And then now, now you know, Gracie's... Um, has more of an assist mentality, but now she's, you know, she's putting, you know, she got got her first one, which, you know, I think it's just a, a huge shy of relief, and it's probably took way longer than she wanted it to, but, you know, end of the day she got there, so we're we're happy with that. A lot of goals, obviously they see that on the score sheet. Not a lot allowed, see that on the score sheet as well. But what can you say about the defense? You know, just adding to the performance, leave five shots in two games, and I think Chloe made two saves all weekend. Yeah, I think you know they, you know the the Lamar game. You know they definitely laid laid their bodies in front of the ball and 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 didn't, you know try not to give up an inch, and, and that was great to see. And then you know. And then even with Nichols, you know, they, you know, Nichols didn't lay down. They didn't come in and pack it. They, they come in and try to play, and, um, and we kind of knew that. So, um, you know, it's, some, it's sometimes easy enough to switch off when you haven't had a lot to do. Um, so, um, you know, you've got to give credit to them. They, they, they stay switched on, which is, which is great to see. Staying switched on was something that was going to be tough last time you played Commerce, stretched over two days because of weather. Aside from hopefully better weather on Sunday and not into Monday, uh, what do you look forward to in terms of, or what can you take rather from that last match and apply it to this one against Commerce? Um, you know, seeing two different sides of Commerce, I think, was the biggest thing. And you know, uh, I felt, you know, I felt the, the closest thing I've ever felt to being a baseball coach in that that weekend. Um, so um, I think, yeah, seeing two different sides, and I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll we'll see the the second the second game Commerce, which they come out and they were that hungry. You know, they've they've had a great. Um, a great pass, a couple of results, so uh, they haven't let a goal in the three three games. So um, they'll be they'll be super pumped. I was going to say, what side of commerce? North commerce, East commerce, South commerce? What the two sides? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was they were they were hungry on the second game, um, you know, and, and then they got confident. So you know, um, and now they've got even more confidence. You know, at the moment, I think probably we will have one of the most potent offenses in, in the Southland, and. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be a battle. All right, thanks so much. Guys. Thanks, guys.